even imagine where these people come from. They've lived life differently than I have. They have so much to share with me. I'm just waiting to see what they have to offer. I don't like to think based on physical appearances someone's got something to offer, but I think I've got a lot going for me. I'm pumped. I'm so pumped for this show. I just hope I last like till the end. I don't want to be like the, the creep who gets kicked off right away, you know? If I don't get kicked off the first day, I'll probably win it. Simple as that. I know I'm a good catch, so hey, whoever's out there, they're gonna catch me. It's gonna be a good catch. I enjoy dating because I like I enjoy meeting new people and uh, I think a lot of men like to portray themselves as somebody they're not so that's something I don't want to see and I hope you know the men leave their arrogance at home dude we're still gonna get you late tonight <laughs> I don't even know the rules so I'm just gonna play it by ear and wing it for now and then I, I imagine I'll be doing a lot of lying I think I've chosen to be single at this point I haven't found anybody that has sort of been a worthy candidate so you know I'm hopeful I just got out of a five-year relationship so I think now I'm just um I just want to focus on me and I heard about this and I thought what a, what a great opportunity I'd like to find that special girl at 27 it starts coming into your mind that you want to start looking towards building a future with somebody as opposed to building it by yourself I have like no single friends my age I'm just hoping it's gonna be a lot of fun Pretty much, I get to meet some new people, maybe some interesting men, that would be nice. And I'm a decathlete, so I compete year-round with guys, and every time we go out, it's the same thing. You know, if there's a cute girl over there, it's, it's every man for himself. I feel that I'm at sort of an awkward stage, being that I might be too young to date the men, and too old to date the boys. I haven't met someone that just kind of makes me want to get to know them a little bit more than just being friends. I want to meet the girl for sure. I just get okay, which one? Oh my God. But my attitude is having a good time and having fun. I'm going into it with an open mind. I'm hoping, you know, I have some fun and just see what happens. If it feels right, if we're compatible, then for sure I'm, I'm going for it. Just kind of jump in there and just hope that it turns out for the best. You never know, there might be the real fairy tale out there. I'm just going to go in and see as it goes. I'm sure you guys are going to spring some surprises on us. Ten gorgeous women, ten handsome men. Love, lust, and heartbreak in the majestic Rocky Mountains. This is Hooked Up, the search for the perfect mate. because we've got 10 girls, 10 guys, who are going to be on an adventure of a lifetime. Adventure in what? Who knows? Love, lust, lots of things going on in this show. But they haven't met each other yet, so they're going crazy with anticipation, as you can well imagine. So let's put them out of their misery. Come on, girls. Come on, guys. Let's meet who you may be hooked up with. I don't think any of us looked at each other. But then you started to sort of smile at different people and then see who was sort of who. I can honestly say that I didn't even look over at the guys. In fact, I was like even scared to have a glance, but once I did, I was hmm. It was like they were trying not to make eye contact with us and then we were trying not to make eye contact with them. So it was a very um, difficult initial meeting. I was really nervous. I mean, I showed it in spurts and, you know, waiting there was, it was, oh man. But when I got to see all the chicks, you know, I was a little bit blown away. When I, you know, first seen them, I'm like, wow, you know, these are some nice girls. They're beautiful, all got beautiful smiles, beautiful bodies, beautiful, you know, people. And um, I wanted to get to know them a bit better. So, you finally got to check each other out. Not bad, right, ladies? We were working for you. Uh-huh. Men seem pretty happy too, big smiles. 
Everybody trying to make a first impression, right? We got some big muscle guys. We got some serious struts going on. <laughs> so you've been able to see, you know, the faces. But now we want to know what's behind the faces. So what we're going to do is get you all to introduce yourselves. Tell us a little bit about yourselves and why you think that you're going to be a catch for the opposite sex. I'm going to start with you. Hi, my name is Tommy. I'm 27. I work as an actor. And um, I got a cute smile and an even cuter butt. I'm Nicole, I'm 27, I'm a hairstylist, and I like to live life to the fullest. My name is Chad R. I'm 23 years old. I'm a recent university grad, and uh, I think I'm the catch because, ladies, I'm a complete package. I got my degree, I'm an athlete, and ladies, I can work it. Oh, and he likes himself. Chad, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Naomi, I'm 25, I'm the artist. I'm a great catch because I'm down to earth, but I like to have a lot of fun. My name's Rob. I'm 27 years old. I work as an engineer, and I'm a great catch because I'm looking to explore everything life has to offer and have an amazing time doing it. Okay, ladies, that's what's in store for you. Hi, my name is Tracy. I'm 28. I'm a cosmetic sales rep, and I'm fun and sexy, and I'll always keep you guessing. I'm Frank. I'm 25. I'm a mechanical engineer. And ladies, uh, I'm a nice guy. Come on. This just me. And what about that accent? <laughs> the accent! Hi, I'm Dana. I am 26 years old and a bartender slash student. And I think I'm a catch because I'm fun and innocent with a wild side. <laughs> hmm, something to look forward to perhaps? I'm Jason. I'm 26 years old. I own an IT consulting company. And I'm a good catch because I'm host main ladies. I put the toilet seat down every time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kimberly. I'm 21 years old, and I'm a student, and I believe I'm a catch because I don't act my age. <laughs> well, there are lots of different ways we can take that, so boys, use your imaginations, as I'm sure you are. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve. I'm uh, 27 years old. I'm an engineer, and I think I'm a catch because what you see is what you get. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I'm 24, and I actually am a designer, and I think I'll definitely keep a lot of gentlemen on their toes. I don't doubt that. <laughs> I'm Michael, I'm 29 years old. I'm an actor, writer, producer, and entrepreneur. I think I'm a catch because I'm circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's Mike for you, in a nutshell. I I'm Sarah, I'm 21 years old. I'm a student, and I think I'm a good catch because I'm confident, I'm laid back, and when I want something, I don't stop until I get it. Oh, ladies, watch out. <laughs> My name's Chad uh, H. I'm uh, 27 years old. Um, I'm a construction worker, and I'm a great catch because uh, I always like to cuddle afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that very often, right? Hi, I'm Eva Joy, and I'm 23 years old. I'm a student slash actor. Um, I think I'm a good catch because I'm intelligent, outgoing, and very determined. Hi, I'm Paul, I'm 23, um, I'm a hockey player and um, I like to fight on the ice, but off the ice I'm a teddy bear, I swear to God on that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sherry and I'm a very young 29. I am a catch because I am highly energetic and guarantee that there will never be a dull moment. My name's James, <laughs> I'm trainable. <laughs> trainable for what? I see you're going to have to be the right girl to find that one out. Okay, well, we'll have to see. Hi, my name is Tanya. I'm 23. I'm a real estate agent, and I think I'm a great catch because I'm classy, I'm independent, and uh, I know what I want. They're gorgeous. Oh, they're males and gorgeous, are for sure. Super sexy. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a few that I'm definitely would be interested in. They're pretty good looking, attractive. You know, a couple of them seem to be smart. I thought, yeah, there's some nice ladies. If these are the same girls that are going to the bars, I'm not meeting them, that's for sure. Ambitious, beautiful, uh, classy. I know there's a lot of attractive men in the world, but there's a lot more like meatheads and you know goofballs. You know, people that I'm not really attracted to. It takes a lot of a lot of a a lot about a person for me to be attracted to them, and I was impressed. I thought they're gonna bring on a whole bunch of wild guys that are all dark and handsome and won't be my type and juice monkeys or whatever they want to call them, big builds, but um, I was impressed that there was some very genuine, sweet and maybe more normal 
and natural looking guys. Okay, so those were some mini introductions. It's amazing what you can find out about people in 10 seconds or so. Hey, Mike? Yeah, uh-huh. But you all know why you're here, to be hooked up. And ultimately, yes, there will be two people standing at the end of the day, and I need you to know that all the people around you will be determining your fate, whether or not you'll be standing. We already know why you think you're a catch. Now, we want you to know, what are the guys looking for? What are the girls looking for? We put together a little video just for you. I'm looking for a girl that's, you know, obviously really nice, mature, uh, likes that fun though, really likes that fun, but not too much fun. I don't want a girl that wants to go out seven nights a week and go to the bar and rip it up. You know, I'm, I'm past that point in my life. Physical attraction is huge, you know. Some people say, oh, well, you know, if he has a great personality, I can, you know, learn to find him attractive. I don't believe that at all. I, I believe that physical attraction is very important, and you either have it or you don't for me. Personality and curves, I guess. <laughs> you know, just the nice curves and nice and beauty of their eyes. I don't know, there's lots of different things. I would say at this point, someone who's adventurous, uh, a man who's compassionate, a man who knows himself and knows what he wants, someone who's ambitious in that they set goals for themselves and they go after it. I've definitely had more of my share of fun, but now it's time to, you know, sit down and get serious. It's pretty bad when your mom walks up, all right, uh, time to seriously start dating someone here. I want someone who takes care of themselves. Uh, the intellectual is always good, I don't want some flake. I don't want so I want someone who can stimulate me not only physically but like mentally. Obviously, first thing, sexual attraction, right? Because if I was looking for a friend, I'd just hang out with the guys. Funnily enough, I tend to like sort of nerdy kind of engineers. I like the the confident but nerdy, not too confident, not too nerdy, not your typical guy. Personality is the biggest thing for me. I mean, that's that's what either makes it or breaks it. But I won't lie to you, she's got to have some looks. You know, she's got to catch my eye. And yeah, I'm not I'm not one on. I mean, breasts are good. They're good. They can be small, big. I'll still play with them. So. <laughs> I know I don't like the guy that has to be the center of attention all the time and run the show, I guess, who owns the room. I like a guy who's more of the strong, silent type, I suppose. I can sit here like every other guy that comes and sits in this chair and says, oh, I want a girl that's sincere and good job and keeps fit and all that stuff, but uh, I'm just kind of looking for something. I'm looking for a girl that makes me more happy when I'm with her than when I'm not. And that's exactly what Hooked Up is all about. We're here to help two people find their ideal mate. But don't forget, it's not just about dating. We've also arranged a few surprises to help them learn more about each other. The first is coming up next. All right, so everybody's had a chance to do a little meet and greet, a little mingling, right? Well, now we're gonna get down and dirty. Everybody's staring at this bottle. What is that all about? Well, it's our version, the hooked up version of Spin the Bottle. It's called Kiss or Confess. Would you like him to kiss you or would you like him to confess something to you? I wanted to confess. Kiss or confess? Oh, I just a little kiss. I'll go for a kiss. When I first saw it, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> You learn who's got a wild side and who's willing just to kiss anybody. I was a little nervous, but I thought, what's the worst that can happen? I have to kiss somebody or tell something, say something bad. You know, we're all adults. Who among the group do you think will be the first one divorced? Who do you think has had the most sexual partners? Everyone was so nervous and those questions were pretty difficult. When was the last time you had a one night stand? Which person here do you regard as your biggest competition? After a couple of the questions I heard, I, I'd say I was more nervous about the questions. Fortunately, none of the bad ones seemed to go, go my way. Who do you think is the least attractive person in the competition? <laughs> and of course, everybody else's questions were silly and would have no real true effect on them. And the question that I got was detrimental. I don't know, like Naomi's very tiny and petite and has short hair and I've never been a big fan of that, but I think everybody's beautiful, very much so in their own way. So your answer is? I guess Naomi. 
I didn't really appreciate Jen's comment. I have to say that was hard, especially because I was so nervous to begin with, and then to be called the least attractive person out of 20 people, that was it for me. When she said that, I was like, okay, you're out. I don't even want to know you. Come on, Jason. Give it a good spin. All right. <laughs> oh. So, kiss or confess, would you like her to? I, I was actually just, I went up to ask the question and I looked over at Sherry and she's looking at me and I, I was really, I was really sweating. I was like, oh man, what am I doing and stuff? And she just smiled at me. I'm like, I want to kiss you. So I said it and we'll start with a kiss. Then she actually comes up to me and she's coming to give me a kiss and I was just freaking out inside. I was like, oh my God, because I'd never talked to this girl before. sounds starry, but I didn't really want to kiss anyone else after that. My first time going up to the front uh, was with Steve. You, Sarah. Can't fuck her up, Sarah. A another kiss? And Steve had his tongue in there, and I was not expecting it. I was, everyone else who had gone up before me just kind of got a little peck on the cheek, and he kind of, whoa. How was it? How was it? It was good. I wasn't expecting the open mouth. Neither was I. <laughs> Kissing is something that's quite intimate, and um, and I didn't. I don't feel really. I wouldn't feel comfortable having to kiss them on the lips. Paul did kiss me like right here or something. I had him kiss me right here. Well, well, well. <laughs> I think I think right here, right here, right here. I had a good, you know, couple kisses, a couple confessions, so. I, I don't know if I started to set my sights, but uh, so as you can say some of the sights caught my eye. One of the girls that caught my eye was Nicole. I had a choice for a kiss, and I asked for a kiss, and, and um, it, it was a nice kiss. Oh my goodness. You know, a couple rounds later, she's sucking on Curious George's stomach, and I'm just like, Okay, well, I won't judge her. I'm oh. just gonna see, you know, I'm gonna get to know her. Would you like her to kiss you or confess? I will let her kiss wherever she wants. Okay. I kissed her before when she spun the bottle and got me. So when she came up, I was like, all right, you can kiss me. Yo, whoa. <laughs> the tongue, the lips, the whole the sucking, the, yeah, that was. That got the blood pump. I don't know if I'd try to kiss someone open-mouthed, you know, within a couple hours of meeting them, or kiss their stomach, per se. But, you know, to each their own. I feel terrible saying it, but I just, I was surprised at how she, uh, how she was acting. I was kind of embarrassed for her. After she had, uh, sucked the tattoo off of James, <laughs> I, I thought, you know, for sure, I'll get a good kiss. Well, I was going for Man. a confession, but... <laughs> <laughs> Papa changed his mind. <laughs> she asked me to take my shirt off, so I did. Okay. And totally burned me by kissing me on, on my neck. <laughs> Nicole is pretty spongy. So that's not something that I personally would do. So that kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't there to do something and then check everybody's reaction. I was only there to do what I felt doing at the time. Not through any fault of their own, but through the questions, personal questions. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer. kind of laid out uh, a bit of information that uh, definitely changed my mind about her. Jennifer, when was the last time you had sex? <laughs> and I have to answer honestly. <laughs> well, we'd prefer that. This morning. <laughs> When Jen had answered her question, I was kind of taken back. But we, we were all kind of, you know, just like, oh, whoa. You know, she, she answered it honestly, though, so I have to commend her for that. She's being honest, and I appreciate the honesty, but anybody that's just had sex that morning with another person should not even be there. You know you're coming on a show like this. You know you're going to be involved in things like that, and I just lost all respect for her. Even though guys are dogs, you know, we still uh, don't want to be coming in sloppy seconds, you know. That's a bad way to start a show off like that.
So last night you got to see each other for the first time, create some first impressions, and we played a little game, Kiss or Confess. But you really get to have any one-on-one -on -one time, right? So that's what we're planning on letting you do today. We've got this little game called Speed Dating. All 10 guys are going to get to date all 10 girls for five minutes at a time. After the five minutes, you get to write down your thoughts on the date. We may be keeping these cards around and using them a little later. So be careful with what you write. I'm looking for someone who's real zest for life. I've been single for two years and I. Do you I've been, like that? No, I'm really lonely actually. Really? So how old are you, Siri? Oh my goodness, why are you asking me how old I am? I came here from Venezuela by myself, no family, no friends. Very spontaneous, I take it. Yeah. So you're like kind of nerdy engineer. Uh huh. But the reality is, I know nothing about you. Nothing. Ditto. I think I'm a pretty good judge of character, and usually, you know, in, in one date or two dates, I can decide if, you know, if I want another date or if this guy just completely isn't for me. Then it's surprising what you can actually find out about somebody in five minutes. I was a bad girl in junior high, so my parents sent me off to boarding school. I've been, I've never really been single since I was 16 years old. My belief is that you shouldn't really move in before a marriage. Before a marriage? Yeah. I don't know if I believe in love at first <laughs> sight, but I do believe in attraction at first sight. I'm out here. It gave me the opportunity to start weeding out and stop wasting time. I mean, there's 10 beautiful women. Uh, if you make a negative impression on me, well, there's nine other women I can go to. You it's, look fantastic. So as do you. I'm liking that sweater on you. It looks great. Thanks. I'm a very giving person, and I, and I put a lot in. And I mean, I get a lot back, but I, I don't really know what I want. Some people that I thought didn't have a lot of substance really surprised me. And the intellect and some romantic sides and some deeper sides that I didn't think initially certain guys had. I want to ask you why you're here. Or I need a wife. Do you have any pets? One cat. Really? You Judge and I miss him so much. Really? I can't sleep without him. I can't believe you miss your cat. You're such oh, a girl. No, <laughs> Whatever I see, I just kind of go right after it. Really? Yeah. So you're physically attracted to me? Is that what you're saying? You know that. It was insightful, actually, because you got to see how they are under pressure, um, what their priorities of conversation are, and uh, how they react under stressful situations. I'm totally intimidated by you. I'm sorry. I had uh, a good conversation with Paul. He really opened up and, uh, you know, you could look right into his eyes and really feel what he was saying. So are you a typical hockey player? Uh, no, I'm not, You don't actually. seem like it. No, That's I, why I asked. I, I do have morals and I do have standards and I do have very good judgment, I think. My mom says I have a spirit of intuition, which means I can read people right when I meet them. And I honestly know I can. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of faith that, you know, the right woman's going to come around at some point. Really? It's been two years and it's... You've been single for two years? Two years, yeah. How did you ward off that many girls? Just... Honestly. Give them a fake phone number. <laughs> well then. I didn't want people to totally perceive me as a jackass, so. I used to be mature beyond my age, but um, I found it's more fun now. Like, I, I'm, I'm so happy that I could die tomorrow with no regrets and just love the life that I lived. I thought I'd clean my act up a little bit. I have more to offer in her than the joking. What are you looking for in a woman? What am I looking for? I'm looking for a best friend in an attractive woman's body. I want to find a best friend in the girl first. Of course. And, and then, you know, obviously sexual attraction, right? Actually, I was pretty impressed by Mike. He, he made a comment how he's looking for a, a best friend in, in a woman, and I've never heard any, any guy really say that, and that's so true, because that's kind of what I'm looking for. Like, I want someone to shop with me. That's like a girlfriend, but in a guy's body. Hi, Frank. How, how are you? Doing? I took control of every single one of the speed dates. I wanted to do that so I wouldn't get asked more questions about yesterday. You know, if I asked the first question, then they were gonna ask the same one back. <laughs> and so that's kind of how it went back and forth, and I thought that was good. I have my own kind of business. I'm just dabbling in. I, but if I could have my dream job, I'd want to have like my own design show, or I'd, I'd love to design maybe a hospital or a museum or something amazing. You know, and I was working so many hours, and I didn't really have much of a life or I wasn't doing what I loved to do, right. and I knew that, even though I was good at it. Um, I'm a realist, so I don't do any like abstract, crazy stuff. I do some real pictures. I just pick a subject and draw. I'm very understanding of people's space, dreams, goals, and differences, but I'm very demanding as in I give 100%, I expect 100%. It's 
Eva Joy, right? Yeah. Or just like Eva, 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 Eva Joy. Eva. Yeah. Really anticipating Eva Joy. I was really looking forward to meeting her, and I was not disappointed at all. She's she's a pretty amazing girl. I've been totally looking forward to getting a chance to meet you. Really? Yeah. That's good. I've been looking forward to talking to you too. Jason was very forward, very honest. He came straight out and told me, you know, what he thought, how he felt. And I totally respect him for that. When you walked in yesterday, I just, I saw you and I was like, wow. Oh, I'm blushing now. Uh, <laughs> that's great, though. So So you go to school? I do. I'm, I'm doing a sociology, an honors BA in sociology. Oh, really? Before you left. I'm wondering if I'm mistaking just her genuine, great personality with maybe some kind of a connection there. So I'm kind of mindful of keeping an eye on her and how she interacts with other guys. I'm just a relationship type of gal. In that's right. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Sag. So I think it's all about energy. I think that if you're positive, then you tend to attract positive people. The bottle Me was kind of good to us yesterday. Yeah. So. First kiss of the evening. Yeah. When Jason sat down for the date, I, I actually I felt nervous, and there was a little bit of a butterfly in my stomach. I don't know. I guess I'm a little curious as to how I'm feeling. Yeah. Potential. Because I saw you try to spin it towards me, and I appreciate oh, that. Oh, <laughs> good confidence. I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess I maybe felt a, a little bit of chemistry for sure. Yeah. And this is a good way to break the ice more and learn more about you. Do you teach? Yeah, I teach um, at a university. Telecommunications. It was good. It was tension. It was good tension. Positive tension. But there was definitely something going on between the two bodies. So. There's definite chemistry there. How are, Steve. You? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? Steve really surprised me. Right. He came Super. barreling into my date. In the girls' cap, what are you guys thinking of for, for guys getting voted off? Oh, uh, we haven't even talked about that, actually. You're lying. No questions about me, just questions about the game. He was almost insulting. I was shocked. Hi. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good. I'm Good. Steve. Sarah. I had a real problem with Steve the previous day. We had kissed and kind of caught me off guard. I took you off guard? Yeah. I didn't mean to, like, open mouth or whatever you said. <laughs> I heard. I was actually going into the situation looking to put it behind us, but he was very confrontational, and he seemed like he was looking to fight. You're having a hard time dealing with all this stuff? I am having a hard time dealing with all this finish. stuff. I have, two, I have two more points. Okay. You have two more, that's one. Two more. Wow, okay. Um, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt and, you know, appreciate his honesty and appreciate where he was coming from, but I, I don't need to back down to someone who I don't know. I think you think you know a lot more about me than you do, and I think you think you read me better than you do, and I don't know if that's true. Um, so, I, in fact, I'm sure so it's not. No one's perfect. What can she or do do to improve? Listen. The unique thing about Hooked Up is the guys and the girls determine who goes home. And now, it's decision time. I did read on one of the cards, uh, a couple people were saying, Tommy seems like he's putting on a bit of an air. Yet, yet other people were saying they thought he was very genuine. Because so. he's very good at it. He's a great actor. You know, yeah. for, after I wrote the comments down, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I just so got played you by got this guy. Well, while he's telling me, um, you know, what I want to hear. And I saw right through that, yeah. uh, maybe two minutes after I wrote down the comments, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> This guy is playing me like a no. fool. We had some varied comments on yeah. James. You know, Dana, I'd like you to pipe up here. You think James, I'm, he's, it's just the age barrier, I think. I felt like I was talking to my little brother. Yeah. He's a really nice guy, but. He has a lot of growing up to do. Yeah. He's, I think he's, he's very he's immature. I think he's immature. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about yeah. Chad, construction worker Chad. Let's talk about him. His piercing greenish hazel eyes and how intense it was that he focused, looked me right in the eye, the whole entire conversation and it flowed. I have a lot of respect for that because most men, when you have a conversation, their eyes wander or they look here or they look there or their attention his span is not 100% and he was so focused the whole conversation, it was amazing. What do we think about Rob? I think Rob, he's very intellectual, kind of dry. I think Rob's dry. Yeah, I think I, dry. a nice guy. He needs a girl to bring him out. Yeah. He very needs a girl serious. to, he's very serious. He needs a girl to give him some edge. A girl like you? Mm -hmm. He has a nice blue shirt, look good on him. Yeah. <laughs> 
So have all of you found, have all of you found one guy that yeah, just makes true. your heart go? Yeah. Butterfly? <laughs> butterfly, butterfly. And it takes yeah? a lot for me to say that, so. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, so it's going to be very, very tough for you tonight mm -hmm. to cut two of the guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what you're going to be doing. I'm going to get up and I'm going to leave. Oh my God. Oh and no. you all have to decide which two of the guys are going home tonight. I wanted to cut Steve. Um, that, that was my solid one. You wow. just had a fight. The bottom line is there's going to be a guy in the other room that's going to get yeah. me out of here. And Steve's got to go. He was an asshole to me. If people didn't get a good vibe from him, then that's their own thing. It started off with just a bad date that he had with Sarah, and then it just went from there. I think as soon as she said that, it let everything go. It was a horrible date I had with my He was very arrogant and negative. A lot of the girls were saying that their date with Steve just did not go over well. It really showed in our decision making. Give me a little kiss. Come here, come here. No! Give me a little kiss. In the end, I mean, if six or seven of the girls are having negative experiences with a one person, why would you want to continue or get to know this person? He thinks he could sum somebody up like that. Yeah. Really so he's on. done. He's <laughs> out of here. Steve's <laughs> out. Really come on. Bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. I'm going to put you on the spot and you, you tell me, Jason, biggest sparks. Have a joy. For sure. Tommy, sure. tell me, like, biggest connection. Uh, Naomi was one. That was you know, what shocked me so much. I mean, she had this whole Isabella Rossellini thing going on for me. It seems like Kimberly uh, grew on a lot of people too today. Kimberly totally shocked me. Like she got like body of stripper, whatever. That's what I was thinking. I was she she blew me away. Kind of the stereotypical blonde bombshell. Yeah. But something in there, you yeah. know, behind it all too. I, I told her she was intimidating. Actually, that's the first thing I said to her on the date. I'm like, you're totally intimidating. She's like, I'm sorry. And, and I'm like, why? Because of her looks? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, listen, you guys. We're, we've all been chatting about the girls and everything. I'm going to leave you alone. And you've got a big decision to make. You've got to cut two of the girls tonight. The first girl was easy. Again, all the fellas agreed with me. The one I lost respect for in the beginning. And that was Jen. Okay, everybody. Jennifer, who do you feel about? I'm going to take Jennifer. 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 Same. Jennifer. Yeah. Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer unanimous. There's okay. one. First vote for Jennifer was very quick based on what what she had said before. Who do you think is the least attractive person in the competition? I guess it's Naomi. I think a few guys were offended by by that, that she did answer it. And definitely the way she answered her other question. When was the last time you had sex? This morning. When's the last time you had sex? And she said, like, that morning. <laughs> that turned a lot of guys off. Um, they're like, well, what are you doing here? First, the first girl's gone, right? Yeah, that's Jen. Okay, if we're, we're, we're going to vote for the second okay. girl. Okay, we're voting for the second girl, right? Okay. Jen yeah, is gone. There's no, there's no. There's certain girls that we first initially want to vote on, uh, such as Nicole, but uh, certain guys from the group really want to keep her around. I put my foot down and said, you know what? Okay, I, I have a genuine interest in this girl. Who, be, because I'm, I'm like saying, sir, sir, I'm sir, saying, sir, I want Nicole on. No one's if, like. If anybody else sees otherwise, why they don't, you know, see that I should be able to keep this girl on, or see that we should be able to make that connection. Tell, let, let, speak now or forever hold your peace. I voted for uh, Nicole. I want Nicole. I want to see what she's about. Give me, give me that time. It was really tough because um, I know Chad wanted Nicole um, to stay on, and I, I was ready to vote Nicole off, like because of that monkey kissing incident. I'm gonna, I'm gonna respect what he wants because I know he's gonna respect in the future if it comes down to a similar situation. I know Chad will, you know, uh, pay it forward to myself. So God, you're nice. there we go. Thank you. See, All right, brother. That hard? Are you happy? I am okay. happy. On Hooked Up, every event, every date contributes to the ultimate consequence. First determining and now revealing who's about to be sent home. I was very confident. I, I, was, I was confident but anxious because of the tension and the anxiety that everybody else was feeling. I thought I probably might go because of yesterday's events, but I thought a lot of girls have reasons that they might go. When you're so unsure of what's going on, I mean, um, you can't help but feel that uh, you could be one. Just about every girl in their, their tapes said, 
I go for the tall, dark, and handsome type, and Rob and I are like, crap. <laughs> We're anything but. Mike, we saw a new you today. Yes, you did. Yes, we did. What was with that? Yesterday, you were a completely different man than today. I figured the game out. It's time to wheel the women and not the guys. <laughs> Kimberly, you seem like you've been a little bit cautious about the men you're meeting. Cynical even sometimes, maybe. You know what? Yeah, I am a little cynical. It's going to take a lot more than five minutes to get to know everyone. But looking forward to it, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Steve. What did you think about the women when you first met them? What was your first impression of all of these women? Uh, my first impression uh, yesterday was uh, not very good. I seem to recall the word dits. I seem to recall you saying you thought all the girls were ditzes until you talked to them. Yeah. And then that changed your mind. True, true. So? No, you're not yet. Yeah. And how do you ladies feel about that? Do you know what I'm being a blonde? And I'm a natural blonde, so I get it most a lot of the time. And you know what? It's so far from the truth. And people who are that narrow-minded don't even don't even phase me, and it doesn't even bother me. It's just Jason. How you doing? Today in Rate the Date, I had one comment that said his eyes sparkle when he looks at me. Oh, oh, yeah. It's okay, big, man. It's okay, man. It's okay, man. It's but but. You know, conversely, there was also another comment that was that he was pretty nervous. He could be more confident, right? So, is that something you know in yourself? Like after the dating game, what are you thinking? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little intimidated. It's intimidating meeting all these pretty girls, like one right after the other. And I don't know. Before I go out on a date, if it's like a pretty girl, I kind of have to psych myself up a little bit and uh, get a chance to regroup. I didn't really get a chance today. I feel like you guys are becoming, you know, kind of a cohesive group, becoming real friends here, you know? But as I was chatting with each group, there are some serious sparks. Like, there are some people who want to be hooked up. And I want to know how far you're willing to go to get that person. <laughs> Sherry. Um, far enough to open my heart for once. Doesn't happen very often. Paul, how about you? How far are you willing to go to get hooked up? I'd like to get married in the next two, three years, so I don't know, marriage? Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. I'd like a girl to get married and I'd like to have a family, yeah. That makes sense to me. I have 16 pictures here. I'm gonna lift them up. If you see your picture, Congratulations, you're staining. Okay, here we go. Okay. Eva Joy, congratulations, girl. You can head on off, have a drink. Chad, here we go. Nicole. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Our cynical one, Kimberly. Head off. Rob. Tanya. Congrats. And right before um, Tara um, made the cuts, I, I just said a little prayer to God. I prayed to him. I said, you know, if you want me here, keep me to the next round. You're on your way to getting married, Paul. <laughs> so that's the way it's going to be. I'm going to say another prayer before the next round. If he wants me here, he's going to keep me. Naomi, so relieved. <laughs> really relieved. I think I would have been more surprised if I got cut. Maybe. I mean, just by a little bit. Go have a drink, Frank. <laughs> Frank Antonio. <laughs> Tommy, Sherry, Chad, 
I had confidence, had past tense. I, yeah, I was one of the last four guys, so my confidence quickly started to diminish. Okay, so we've got six of you left here. So four of you going home tonight. Aww. But you dance well. Okay. You dance well. Show you the last two people who will be staying. That's just evil. I've never felt such torture in my life. It was nerve-wracking. Uh, it was absolutely stressful, and I thought I was going to die. Jennifer, did you think you'd be down to the last three? Yeah. You did. Hmm. What is that? Because oh, I'm too bloody honest to really. I, I thought so. Why are you gonna make me cry? Don't, because we're all gonna I hate that stuff. Do you know what? I I have always, always known that um, it's hard to be a liberated woman and have most men understand. And based on one little answer, that could be it. I don't know. So. Okay, you know what? I'll get to it here. No torture. Okay, guys, last card here. Oh, you may face. be very surprised, but Mike, you're staying. Really? Congratulations, Mike. Yeah, I get you guys all deserve to be nice. No, I had a couple weird feelings. Like, I was prepared to leave, but I, I just, I don't know, I had a feeling I wasn't going off yet. All right, so you four are going home tonight. I just don't see anything that I did being negative, embarrassing, besides those two incidences um, last night. One silly little game question. I uh, can't really tell you everything you need to know about someone, and five minutes can't tell you everything either. strategy for a lot of guys is keep your options open. Don't show too much interest in a particular girl because that'll single you out and also obviously try to get some interest in yourself because you'll get cut otherwise. I like Cherry and Tanya. Michael intellectually, Paul physically, and Chad just for an all-round genuine guy. Ava Joy, Tracy, and Tanya. Paul, Rob, and Chad. I know for sure that uh, Rob and Jason are both interested in Eva Joy. And I mean, I, like I am a little bit too, she is an attractive girl. Like. Jason would be my first choice. I can say that I do definitely have a stronger chemistry with Jason for sure, which I, I do want to explore that. Kind of approaching it like how I approach life. Like, you can live a lot more if you don't fear death, right? So if you're not afraid to get kicked off, you're gonna have more fun. As soon as we eliminate the first two, we said immediately that this is gonna be really, really difficult. Next time on Hooked Up. It's a rough ride to some hard realizations. The dating game is always a struggle between the heart and mind. <laughs> I have a connection with him and I'm gonna fight for him and that's the way it is. We got a connection, I won't lie. We got a connection. We're to the point now where we're not everybody's gonna be happy. Uh...